In this video, I'm going to show you 11 small business ideas that are easy to start in 2017. These are some of the easiest by far to start with very little capital and with very little time to start. And it will allow you to make a full-time income in most cases pretty quickly if you do it correctly. So. The first small business idea that's really easy to get started that I want to show you is Fiverr Freelancing. Fiverr Freelancing is um, on a site called Fiverr where everything starts out at $5. It's a freelancing website where you can sell graphic design services, digital marketing services, writing, video, music, programming, advertising. There's all kinds of different categories, like as you can see up here, all kinds of different gigs are offered, and everything is taken care of on one platform. People can buy your services, they can message you about changes and specific requests, and you can market your business and get paid all through Fiverr. And they just de they just deposit what you make into your PayPal. So. The thing about Fiverr is it's one of the easiest ways to get into freelancing. And freelancing is one of the fastest businesses that you can start and one of the cheapest because unless you have to get a website or something, it's pretty much completely free to get started. You can create as many about as many gigs as you want on Fiverr. You can um, sell all kinds of different services and it's free to create your gigs and to sign up with an account. All you have to do is connect your PayPal to it when you're ready to get paid. And you'll be able to sell gigs, um, make money, and get paid all through Fiverr. So, whatever your skills are, if you can sell it for five, ten, fifteen dollars, eventually you can unlock the ability to sell higher end skills or higher end services for hundreds of dollars a piece. So you can make a full time income very well with Fiverr, and it's one of the easiest by far to start. And it's one of the most versatile because of the amount of different types of skills you can sell on here. Another thing I would look at if you want an easy business to start is a blog. A blog has a lot of different ways that it can be monetized. And the thing about that is you don't want to necessarily rely on just one income stream. So with a blog, the great thing is you're in control. You don't have to worry about if uh, YouTube makes a change or if um, Facebook makes a change that kills all your traffic or a big percentage of it. You are in charge of your blog. You are in charge of um, growing it, getting traffic from the top search engines, or you can do ads straight to your blog. You can get traffic from social media. There's a lot of different ways to get people to your blog. And the way your pages are set up is completely up to you. You are the boss of your own blog. So you can create a blog a lot of different ways. And you can make money a lot of different ways. A few ways you can make money from it are from ads, from um, selling your own courses, selling your own books, affiliate marketing where people buy stuff through your link using ClickBank or Amazon Associates, for instance, and then you get a commission because you are the one that referred the sale. You can refer apps. You can uh, sell a membership site. You can do all kinds of different things and make money from it on your blog. So this is one of the best assets you can have, and it's very easy to start. I have an article here on selfmadesuccess.com. How to start a WordPress blog in three steps on Bluehost hosting. The reason I did it for Bluehost is because they are one of the cheapest and most reliable hosts. So it's great for building your first blog. And I narrowed it down into three main steps to get started. So it's very simple and easy to follow. You can go to selfmadesuccess.com and just click start a blog at the top to get to this page. Or if you don't want to do a WordPress blog, which I think WordPress is the best, but there are other options that might even be um, more suitable to your specific blog type. Maybe you're going to do more of a 
photography blog or art or uh, maybe you're just a small business who doesn't need to create content all the time. Um, if you have other types of blogs that you want to create that maybe um, WordPress isn't best for, here's an article on WP Beginner called How to Choose the Best Blogging Platform in 2016. And it's a very newly created um, list and it compares all the main blogging platforms, free and premium. So a lot of these you have multiple options, free and premium options for creating a blog. Um, you have Weebly, WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, Medium, Squarespace, Wix. Um, so there's all the best blog platforms are covered in this article and it kind of compares them so that you can figure out what would make sense for your partic particular situation. And of course as a blog you can talk about whatever you want. Just try to stand out if you want to make a living from it. Just make a blog about something that really fills a need in the marketplace that no other blog is filling. So blogs are definitely solid options. Another one is starting a YouTube channel. And I talk about this all the time. Obviously, you know I have a YouTube channel and I love it. It's a great way to make money. It's also a great way to promote your business if you're not using it to make money. You can use it for marketing. You can use it for a lot of different things. It's one of the best assets you can have online these days. And um, I think it gives you a little more versatility than say a podcast which is all audio only. You can play around with visuals. You can do, um, you can record yourself. You can record the screen. You can record a cartoon. There's all kinds of different things you can do with a YouTube channel. And it's completely free to start. You can upload as many videos as you want. And all you have to do is go up to this upload button. Once you have a free Gmail account with Google, because Google owns YouTube, you can start uploading videos to YouTube. All you have to do is record yourself with your phone your webcam, or record your screen. There's all kinds of free tools for doing all that stuff. So whether you do a gaming channel or you do a comedy channel or a business channel or a review channel, there's all types of different channels. And some of them make millions of dollars just from YouTube. And it costs you nothing to create it. Another thing you might consider is becoming a virtual assistant. This is another really easy thing to get started in because there are countless entrepreneurs that just don't have the time to do all the small, tedious things themselves. But they are willing to create checklists and um, uh, ways for you to just follow directions and take care of these things for them. So what they do they usually start out, you know, bootstrapping or starting their business from scratch, doing everything themselves. And then eventually they want to keep growing and they need to outsource. So they need somebody to take care of the things that they just don't have time for. So they can work on the biggest projects. So that's where you come in as a virtual assistant. You can go to virtualassistance.com for a 100% virtual assistant job board instead of trying to check these big generalized job sites and things like that you can get all kinds of like freelance or full-time virtual assistant jobs just from this site so I'll have links in the um, in a resource on my blog that you will be able to find in the description with all the links all the resources that I mentioned all the notes from this video so look for that in the description to get all these links so that you can go and apply uh, whatever it is you want to apply or do your research on. So virtualassistance.com is the best place to find jobs right away as a virtual assistant. And the thing about virtual assistants that's easy to start is you don't really need a lot of you know complex type of skills. You don't have to usually be an artist or um, have a marketing major or something like that. You can usually just do simple tasks with a computer, like checking email, um, sending invoices, um, writing things for people, doing research for articles and things like that. Very easy stuff that just takes a little time. That's the kind of stuff virtual assistants do a lot of. 
So you can get jobs there and find a job board there, or you can just create a freelance profile on a site like Upwork, which is one of the top freelancing sites. I wouldn't recommend being a virtual assistant on Fiverr because Fiverr is just not really built for that. It's really more like um, graphic design and writing and content and editing, things like that. Um, Upwork is a little more professional. It's a little more high-end jobs. Uh, we have people that will engineer things for you on Upwork, people that will develop apps for you, um, uh, things like that. You know, bigger jobs would be on Upwork, and as a virtual assistant, that is something that could be a really long-term job. Um, so Upwork would probably be better for a virtual assistant freelance position. Another thing you can look at is transcription services. These are very easy to start. You don't need any specific skills for this. And you can go to a site like transcribeme.com to get started without even having to create your own website or a freelance profile or anything. Now you can also use Upwork or even Fiverr to create a freelance profile and sell gigs doing that as a transcriber. And you can even combine both of those with transcribe me to have all three ways of getting the most work possible. So, I mean, if you do that, you'll definitely have all the work you can do. And all you do as a transcriptionist is you take audio and you turn it into text. So, if you have good hearing, you're good at uh, writing fast and things like that, that can be great for transcribing. And it's uh, the type of job you can do 100% online very easily. So. Uh, transcriptionist work is very easy to get started in. Another thing is listing services. A lot of people never think of this, but think about how many people uh, try to sell th something on eBay, Craigslist, Zillow, um, and all these different places on a daily basis. Thousands and thousands, if not millions of listings per day on these sites. Um, and a lot of people just don't even get around to listing their stuff on these sites because they just don't have time. But the thing is, what you can do is actually list these things for people. And you can do it in a way that it sells faster. So a lot of people are not marketing experts. You don't even need to be a marketing expert. If you can go and look at some things that sell well, you can find a pattern in the description of the products, in the pictures that you take, and things like that. And you can list things for people, and over time you'll get better and better at making ads for people and getting their products sold. Now you can do this for a commission, or you can do this for a flat fee. Whichever way you want to do it, you can sell things for people on eBay, you can sell things for people on Zillow, maybe you want to do uh, real estate for people, or if you want to do say, um, cars for people on Craigslist or something. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can sell land. You can sell uh, smaller things like watches and uh, vintage clothing or something. Um, but people need stuff listed all the time to get rid of their junk or to just get stuff sold, um, especially cars, houses, and land. Those will really get you some big money if you do well at that. So you can be somebody who lists those things for them. You have a, a big list of uh, sites where you can list things. Where, like, say you have a PDF of Craigslist.com, eBay.com, Zillow, and all these different sites that you post it on. And maybe you can develop a template or whatever. And you can get very creative with your copywriting, your images, and um, getting things sold. And if you take a percentage or a flat fee for each thing you sell, that can really add up. Another thing you can do is home cleaning services. Now, this is um, pretty easy to get started in because many of us already have most of the tools we need to get started in this. You know, we try to keep our own homes clean, um, and we can use the same products if we are pretty good at keeping stuff clean and doing it efficiently. You can make a business out of this. If you want, you can get started tomorrow doing this. Just doing, um, maybe your first few clients will be neighbors or family or friends, and uh, you can grow from there through word of mouth, through handing out um, business cards, through creating your own website, 
Uh, you can even use a blog for this to get more clients like uh, WordPress or Wix or Weebly or something. You can reference this article here for that. But, um, you know, a few things you need are covered in um, this smallbusiness.crone.com article called What's Need to Start a Cleaning Business. They kind of cover the um, basics you're going to need, like equipment, supplies, uh, how to get more clients, and a license that you might need to get. You might want to have to register yourself in your city as a business, so it tells you how to do that as well. So. That's just kind of the basics of getting started, but overall, it's a very easy business to start. Number eight is pet sitting. Pet sitting is something, you know, as people get more and more pets, um, you know, you see the average families growing in terms of how many pets they have. A lot of people have two, three um, pets per family now, and they're going to need people to uh, watch their pets when they're gone, when they're on vacation, when they're at work, and things like that. So uh, that's where you come in. You can create a whole business just out of this. You could even get other sitters to work for you. Um, or you could just have a nice place to do it. Maybe you have a good backyard for it, or you have a, a garage where they can stay out of the elements outside. Um, things like that. You can create a space in your home, maybe, where you just take care of people's pets. And that way they, they can maybe save money and have a little more peace of mind with you as opposed to sending them to the vet, which is expensive and, you know, your pets typically don't like doing that anyway. So um, one great way to get started with this quickly is through dogvacay.com. The thing about this is it's like a certified app for this specific purpose for pets and sitting pets so instead of starting your own website which you can do or doing uh, you know freelance profiles and stuff like that or local ads on Craigslist you can also do dog vacay which is completely centered around pet sitting and it'll allow you to do it in a specific location for a specific time period and you can get certified as a dog sitter because they make it to where only good sitters are available, so you don't have to worry about what people might do to your pet. So you get certified on here, sign up with Dog Vacay, become a sitter by going to this button up here in the top right corner, and um, you can get started pretty easily doing that. Number nine, you can start driving with Uber or Lyft. Uber and Lyft, of course, are basically replacing taxi driving. They are basically a freelance job or a freelance business, but it's all done through an app, so it's actually much easier than starting out on your own from scratch, creating your own website and getting your own leads and things like that. Instead of doing all that, you can just have a car. If you have a four-door car that's not too old, um, you can probably get certified as an Uber or Lyft driver. Those are the two main ones in the marketplace for, that will pay you to be a freelance driver. You can drive 24-7, 365 days a year, whenever you want. Um, if you live close to a major city, you'll typically get a lot more work. Um, all you do is you build up a uh, profile as you drive more and more, and you can even refer other drivers. So if you have friends or family that might want to try it, you can make money off of their driving as well. So you can kind of build it into your own uh, kind of sub-organization within these apps. And you can get paid hundreds of dollars for just a few hours of work. So um, you can make good money doing this, whether you do it full-time or part-time. But um, on Uber, you can just become a driver up here, top right corner, uh, Lyft, pretty similar. You can just sign up here on their website and get started. Number 10, you can do Kindle ebook sales. And the great thing about this is it can create passive income because if you get books that are bestsellers or just popular in general, or if you just mass produce a lot of books, I've even seen people outsource the uh, creation of their books by doing certain processes. and 
it makes it to where they can publish multiple books per week, so they have a lot of passive income coming from a lot of different book sales without one book really being a bestseller. Or, you know, you might write a couple books and they might be really so, you know, they might be so good that they become bestsellers and each one makes you a uh, million dollars each. So, whichever way you do it is up to you. Um, your writing skills might come into play. Or if you're just good at structuring books and you know what makes a good book, you can have other people write the book for you. So, just depending on what you want to do. But um, if you want to do this, you can sign up at kdp.amazon.com and that will allow you to um, start publishing books on Amazon. You can get 70% royalties and... It's in multiple countries, it's not just your own, and it's completely free to upload books. So it cuts out the middleman so you don't have to worry about um, getting a publisher and getting it edited and all that stuff. That can be very costly. You don't have to worry about manufacturing your books. You don't have to worry about shipping, none of that. You just do it digitally and you sell it on one of the biggest marketplaces in the world, which is Amazon. Another thing you can do is, uh, if you want to take your skills at this a step farther, one of the best entrepreneurs I know of who's made a fortune selling Kindle books um, through Amazon is Stephen James, and he has a great course that I took that I really loved, and I got a lot of notes from, and it's called Cave Money Mastery. It's only $67. Um, you can actually get it at a discounted price less than that many times. Um, but if you check this out, it's at k it's at um selfmade success dot com slash k dash money dash mastery or I'll just have the um link on the resource page for this video if you want to check it out. But you can go there, it'll take you to a page like this, it'll have a video you can watch kind of covering what it does but it takes you step by step and teaches you as he creates a book from scratch so you can it's literally like watching over his shoulder as he creates a book for his business and how he does it how he outsources how he creates so many books per week how he can write a book in 24 hours how he can sell them how he ranks them how he gets reviews and things like that all covered within this course, which is pretty cheap compared com considering how much you will make back um, applying it. So, I would recommend investing in that course if you want. Like I said, I'll have the I'll have the link for that in the resource page. So, ebooks are a great way to go. Last but not least is landscaping services, which is easy to start because many of us already have a lot of the equipment we would need. Or you could even start out small. You could, you could be more specific. Uh, maybe you specialize in leaf blowing, or you specialize in mowing lawns, or you specialize in trimming hedges. Um, just kind of work with what you have right now, and then you can expand. Get more equipment, maybe get more workers, and eventually people turn these into huge businesses that do really well. So it's easy to get started because it's easy to find clients. All you have to do is look for neighborhoods. Typically, middle class and upper class neighborhoods will do the best for you um, and be more likely to outsource this type of work. And you can also hand out cards and uh, maybe do deals for people um, getting their first service done so that you make a good first impression on them. Um, just kind of market your services. Be good to people. Always over deliver and you can make a really good landscaping business. So if you want to get more um, of a tutorial on how to start a landscaping business, what to work on, what you're going to need to do it, and what to expect, you can go to entrepreneur.com and look up an article called How to Start a Lawn Care or Landscaping Business. And this is the, one of the most in-depth articles on the internet about how to start a landscaping business step-by-step -step with exactly what you need to do it. So I'll have a link to that in the resource page as well. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something that can help you start a business pretty easily, um, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you and uh, help you start your own business and be successful at it.
if you know of some other businesses that are really easy to start that don't cost too much and that could be started as soon as tomorrow uh, without a lot of processes and things like that that you would have to go through that I didn't mention in the video or if you want to just let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you I'm always looking to make these videos better get conversations started to help the visitors and the viewers of these videos and um, that would be a great help to me if you would just let me know in the comments what you thought or if you want to add to the video and you can go to selfmadesuccess.com. I will have a link in the description of a specific resource page for this specific video with all the show notes, all the links and resources I mentioned, uh, promo codes, uh, helpful tutorials, all that stuff that goes with this video that you need to take it a step farther will be in that link. So that will be on selfmadesuccess.com. And look for that in the description. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.